Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and bye-bye, Nancy Pelosi. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, you know what to do. Please visit that address in the lower right-hand corner. It's youtube.com forward slash at Explain America. And when you get there, please hit subscribe absolutely free. It really helps us out. Nancy Pelosi's power, much like Mitch McConnell's power, dissipated, gone. You not you don't have the leadership positions anymore, guys. It's time to let go. You're what do you you're, you're three days older than water. It's it's time to let go of the power you're desperately clinging to. And Nancy Pelosi, she really made her bed. See, at least Mitch McConnell was on the winning team. He backed Trump, won the election. Nancy Pelosi orchestrated, everybody knows it, pushing Joe Biden off the Democrat ticket in favor of Kamala Harris, who got her clock cleaned by President-elect Donald Trump. And now, members of the Democrat Party are saying, enough, we've had it with you, Nancy. It's time to step aside. You're old, your ideas are old, and you used to be a winner. But not everybody wins forever. Ask the Patriots. You know, ask the New York Yankees, although we were in the World Series this year. Not we, I'm not on the team, but my team. But nobody wins forever. And Nancy, you stopped winning. And the party, they want to go in a younger direction. You ain't it. You're 82. You've already filed paperwork to be in the next election when you're 84, which means at the end of Trump's term, if you serve the whole time, you'll be 86 years old. When is enough enough? Go retire and enjoy your grandkids. Well, the Democrat Party is speaking out against her now. Fetterman, Senator Fetterman of Pennsylvania, he's been the most outspoken, but he's not the only one. And the calls are getting louder. The same way she orchestrated the calls to get loud for Biden to be stepped over, well, now the calls are getting louder for her to ride off into the sunset. I want you to watch this report, and then let me know what you think in the comments. And there is, is highly likely to be given to the Senate. Um, Karen, I do want to ask you about Axios this morning, um, putting this report out. Uh, the Democrats are, as their headline puts it, sick of Nancy Pelosi. Um, what are you hearing about <laughs> why this is happening and why they are lashing out at her? Um, obviously, the, the loss of the, the presidency, but, but what is, what's happening there? I think there's a little frustration, let's say, at a little interview she gave to the New York Times uh, and some of the things that she said. I think people, there's just a, in general, you know, my Democrats are in a moment of, you know, hand-wringing and finger-pointing. And I think some of the comments that she made, you know, again, sort of some of, some of the places where she may have laid the blame and sort of the role that she played initially uh, with regard to President Biden, I think there are just a number of things that people are frustrated by and feeling like, look, we've got to move on as a party. We've got to regroup. I think we've got to learn the lessons. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean we have to change our values or change our policies, but we certainly need to change the way we're talking to the American people. Uh, and so I think there's a feeling that let's focus on the future and moving forward. Let's not keep uh, all the finger pointing and, and what feels, I think, to some like meddling. Karen Finney, Scott Jennings, thank you both. Appreciate it. Dead. John. All right, this morning, the first defense Thanks. witness set to take the stand.